we just ordered a probe lens. So yeah, these lenses are really long and skinny. And you can do like really cool, extremely close up shots, stuff like that. But we're gonna shoot something on this miniature set right here behind me. It's like a little Christmas, Christmas theme. Doesn't look like much, but on camera, it's gonna look really cool. Okay, so we've done a lot of trial and error. Shooting inside in the studio, it didn't look quite as realistic as we wanted. We're trying it outside now with some natural light. We tried a different lens. We're going back to the probe lens again to test that out. We're just trying to see what we gotta do to get this thing to look as magical as uh, Christmas is. <laughs> so after a whole bunch of uh, trial and error and uh, trying another lens, trying the lens we rented, which is the probe lens. We came outside, set up a green screen outside. We tried the green screen inside. None of this was working. So finally I realized maybe we could use the real background, like the trees and stuff around us. Finally came to this conclusion that we would set it up on a table and just do it really high up in the air so that then you're seeing mostly blue sky and trees behind it, like that. So for this next shot, we're going to have to be popping the lid on the Zevia can. Now, the problem is, we've used up all of our other Zevia cans. So we've got the one left, which means we've got one shot to get this take right. Will we do it? Yes. Absolutely. up now of the uh, can crashing into the top of the mountain the snow so we're making snow out of uh, flour and starch and then like uh, we're gonna put this sugar on the top sugar to give it that like fine snowflake kind of vibe and hopefully it's gonna just when it hits it'll explode and, and it's gonna look awesome people take so many takes in movies because if you just get it right the first time you don't have to do it again. Yeah. 